If you live in a condo and you want to move to Western to a single family home, or if you're probably coming from out of state and would like to know the cost of living here in Western, that's what I'm going to talk to you today and we're starting right now. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalia Echeverri with Cold Banker in Western Florida. And first of all, don't forget to share this video and subscribe, please. Everything is an approximate number and it will be based on a single family home, more or less between 2,500 to 3,000 square feet uh, for a family of four or five. That is my case and I want to share my experience with you, my cost and everything, so you have an idea when making a decision to take everything into consideration. First of all, let's talk about the electrical bill. A rough estimate on the electrical bill will be from 180 all the way to probably 280, $300. Of course, we have to take into consideration that if you have a pool, if you have, if your pool is heater, or if you have a jacuzzi, things like that will increase the price, of course, on that electrical bill. With that being said, you will be paying between 180 up to 220, probably from November all the way to early March. And then after that, of course, it will increase because it's going to start getting hotter. Um, on the summer months, you can pay up to 280 if you have your air conditioner on, let's say, 70, 72 degrees all the time because, of course, it's hot. So that will be an approximate number for your electrical bill. As for the water and sewer, everything comes together. So in here we have the city of Sunrise and your estimated bill will be from $120 all the way to probably $200, depending on the usage. Internet and cable. We have many options in here. One of the biggest uh, companies are in Western, also small companies, but for the most part, you can pay for your internet Let's say Fiverr, only the, the, the internet, I pay like $100 a month. If you have cable, of course, that will depend on the channels that you have, the subscriptions, how many boxes do you have, how many TVs, but it can go up to 260, everything combined together. At this time, I only have internet because of course we watch everything online. We have Netflix, Hulu, all those things. So I only pay for internet. But in the case that you want to pay um, and add the cable to your bill, it will be a little higher depending on what you have and what you need. Of course, we can live without our cars and they need car insurance. So here in Florida, you can find, of course, many options like everywhere in the United States. But let's say having two cars, you can pay probably from $250 up to like $350. And if you have like a teenager that drives in the house, or probably you have a third car, of course that will increase and you can go up to 400, depending also on your driving record and all that. But for the most part, it, it will be around these numbers. And now that we mentioned that car situation, the gas, Gas in here goes from like, as of today, the lowest, it can be around $2.49, all the way three to $3.19. So based on what you drive, if you drive, I don't know, 20 miles um, a week or something, so you can make your calculation based on how um, far you go and how many miles you drive a week. Very important, if you have a house with a pool, that pool maintenance will cost you between $50 and $75 every two weeks. That will be on you if you own the house. If you are renting a house, sometimes this maintenance, the pool maintenance is included. It depends on the contract and the terms that you agreed when, when you sign your lease or your rental agreement. Also the lawn care. 
Normally, if you live in a gated community or in any other community, the common areas, which is like the sidewalks and the grass that you see around, is covered by the association. If you do have a big lawn, a big backyard that needs lawn care, that will be around $50 every two weeks as well. I mean, I'm talking about like a normal patio size, not if you live in the Southwest Ranches where you have acres of grass, that, that'll be a different story. For, for a normal yard here in Weston, one of the single family homes, you pay around $100 a month. As for wireless services, it is pretty standard. Of course, in the United States, I guess it's like, the whole, um, the plans and services are most likely the same. In my case, I will say that I pay a little bit more than 250 a month, between 250 and 300. We have four cell phones and it's like unlimited and all the perks that we can have. Of course, um, my life depends on my cell phone. So, um, but it will be roughly around that range. If you have, let's say, Metro PCS of companies that are offering like uh, discounted wireless options, it will be a lot less. So you can, you can also find out about that. For families with kids, it is very important to consider childcare. The childcare varies like a lot. Of course, if you have a newborn going to a daycare, it will cost you a lot more than if your kid is two years old, three years old. So in that case, I will say that the for the early years, like from newborn up to three years, you can be paying up to $200 a week in daycare. So it's going, it's, it's a kid that is going to, to daycare full time, let's say from eight o'clock in the morning all the way to five, six o'clock. As to for aftercare, the options are like, there's a lot of options in here. Um, you can leave them in school and pay for that after school program. It will be around $300 a month, which is very different. There is other options like um, specialized schools, like dance schools or um, the YMCA, things, places like that. They will go and pick up your kid in school and bring them to their facilities. So in that case, it will be more or less the same thing between 250 and 300 a month. Also remember that if you have like a young kid that is not going to school just yet, there is a program they offer, which is like probably four hours where the kids can go to school for free. I mean, to preschool for free, you don't have to pay that. But after, if you need more than four hours, you will need to pay for the extra time. That is the cost of childcare. And one of the most important costs or expense, I must say, is groceries and entertainment. Of course, every family is different, but based on my knowledge and on the people that I talk to every day, my friends, my neighbors, and everybody, around me, you can be paying from $700 a month all the way to like $1,200 in groceries. If you shop in a membership paid store, of course you can get better deals buying like a lot and bringing that to your house instead of going to local stores, supermarkets, chains, things like that. If you do barbecues every day or if you are like a good cook, a chef, not me, I am very basic. I do not know how to cook very well. So, but that's the range. And for entertainment, I have to tell you, we have a lot of options here. We have tons of parks. We have tons of things to do. A lot of activities for the kids that are free. But if you wanna go like Let's say if you go to Orlando once a month, of course that's gonna cost you a little bit more. But for entertainment, I would say you can spend like tops, $500 going to a restaurant, if you go eat with the kids uh, during the weekend, or if you wanna do something fun, like bring them to one of those uh, game rooms or things like that, 
I will say it will probably be around the 500 tops, um, being very conservative, but the options are limitless here in Weston. I know for sure this topic is very like, what is she talking about? She's giving me an estimated from 200 to 300, but it's very difficult to give you an exact number. But at least when you're doing your numbers, when you're calculating the cost of living in your new place, or if you're planning to move here, you will kind of want to know more or less. And you can go as high as the number that I gave you. So you will have room for improvement and, and, you know, and you won't be short on your numbers. So that will be my advice. And please, if you have any question about any of the um, costs, that I just discussed with you, or if you have any specific question about your particular situation, just text me, call me. I will be more than happy to explain to you and calculate your cost um, of living here in Western Florida. I really appreciate you being here again. Don't forget to subscribe and please watch this video. It's very good. I know you're gonna like it and will help you a lot. I will see you next week.